if we go to any shop before we buy a product we normally test it normally we do if you buy a dress you do a you take a trial just to check whether it suits to you similar to that when you conduct a research before you start your full fledged research you need to test whether that particular research is feasible feasible means it is is it possible to conduct that research that miniature of original study it is called pilot study today we will see what is pilot study why is it important and what are the benefits of pilot study have to do that and, and other things we'll see today's video in case you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe and click a bell icon so that when i post my next video you'll get immediate notification see pilot study it is very simple it it one what you call it helps you to check whether your future study full time full scale study uh, will be feasible to you know to go ahead that's the reason because generally the pilot study will have one common objective or the question it will answer the question that can the full scale study be conducted in the way that has been planned or should some components be altered it will check whether you can conduct the future study as you planned or you need to do some changes or generally the pilot study will test three things its process its resources its management first thing its process what does it mean by process see normally when you do a research it has to undergo certain process Uh, and uh, you will test that thing see you take a large sample you need to do this thing for a long time so instead of doing a large sample you select a limited sample and you do it for a, uh, some say for example you have a uh, let let us take one topic the students uh, improvement in communication skill over the period of 6 uh, month or 1 year you want to study so the same thing you can take instead of you want to test this thing you are study with the 60 students or 120 students so in the pilot 10 percentage of the population you can take if it is 120 you can take 12 students if it is 60 you can take 6 six, six students you can test instead of one year one year or a six month you can take uh, take a one of a portion of the study you can conduct it for maybe a uh, 10 days so the same way because you should have the entire plan everything how you will do in the original study same way you have to do but instead of conducting the full length study you are taking one portion of the study and your sample size is limited so in this process you will try to understand whether whatever the process you have planned to conduct your research is it going properly number 1 number 2 resources when you intervene with your uh, what you call intervention in the study uh, are you able to collect the data properly or are you able to feed the information as you expect you know to the in case you give some input to the uh, participants you know are you able to give it properly are they taking it properly you can study whether can you utilize and uh, you, you use the resources properly both from the participant end from the viewer end and third thing is management are you able to manage the time resources and the process properly see you have uh, original study is planned for one year but in the pilot you are testing that one portion within a week or at 15 days you test are you able to complete the expected study within 15 days whether that 15 days study gives any improvement in the student on the participant side then similar type of results you may get in the what you call original study so it would help you to confirm the process and resources and the management and in case if there are results come straight opposite or something which is which you don't expect that time what it conveys you because the pilot study should give some other some important things number 1 the objective of the pilot study should be the same of your original study so that you will be able to test clearly whether your original research objectives can be met during the original full length study number 1 number 2 this method you have to employ with the that's what 10 percentage of sample you are taking but you have to give the original 100% effort how you would give to the original study but the only the time and sample size is less rest of the thing has to go as you planned 
within this uh, intervention within this kind of implementation is it bringing the expected results you have three objective uh, from your main study are you able to achieve the fractions of those objectives within this pilot study you can test it if you can achieve that thing it's fine if it if it is not achievable also this will indicate certain things to us and uh, when you select the sample for this pilot study see assume that you are going to test your students from one particular district uh, or country or a state but you are conducting pilot study with some other sample size but it will be entirely wrong assume that you are going to conduct a sample within uh, india you select one state delhi so use your pilot study also the sample should be contained from delhi only you cannot conduct pilot study in tamil nadu finally the original study you cannot conduct in delhi because both participant the sample size sample behavior may change so the prospective sample should be selected from where you are plan to select the main sample number one and another thing those who you if you have selected some student for the pilot study those uh, uh, samples should not be included in the main study because they know very well already what would happen in the study so they will they that you may get only biased result so for a pilot you select a separate group and uh, get certain under understanding but for your original study those pilot students or a sample should not be included in the main study see after the uh, com completion of the pilot study you will get some four or five uh, understanding one is whether main study is feasible or not feasible so based on the results you get from the pilot pilot study you can understand whether your main study can be uh, no can be taken or you, you, is it require some modification if the see first thing the main study can be taken as it is if your pilot uh, delivers the results as you expect there is no need to change anything in your main study you can go ahead but the main study is feasible but some changes are required for example you have used to 20 questions uh, in the uh, probably the data collection the the pilot student the pilot sample they feel it it is too difficult to answer all the 20 questions so you may reduce probably some five questions or two to three five questions you have to reduce or they say that some question number 10 9 20 it is a bit difficult to understand then you need to rephrase this is called this particular input it, it tells you that main study is feasible with certain modification in your process our resources that's what here the resources can be questioner or something else and again sampling anything you have to slightly modify and the third thing the main study is feasible without changes to the protocol there is no need of any change you can go as it is exactly without changing even a small thing and fourth thing main study should be done with lot of changes because your pilot study is completely giving negative results means you have to work and you have to rework your questionnaire plan research process or a theory or other uh, what you call all the theoretical framework or research framework you have to change because if you don't get any results as you expected see if you get 50 percent the rest of the 50 percent you can modify but if you are unable to get anything it means that you need to fundamentally you made some mistakes in framing your question or framing objectives or framing research framework you have to redo all these things so this with this pilot probably you can change it and after adding these things during the main study also you should clearly mention what are how did you conduct the pilot study what were your findings after uh, the uh, recommendation from the pilot study how did you modify you have to mention clearly whether you have modified or not modified if it is modified how did you modify all those things it should be given and if you properly conduct pilot study with the original research structure process your main study definitely will be very easy for you because this is a sample the sample gives you the positive or negative result you modify no need to worry whether the pilot gives a positive signal signal or negative signal both are fine for us because if it gives positive signal you go as per your regular plan if it gives gives negative signal you will modify then you will take up so pilot study is very very important in uh, in your research especially experimental research 
when which involves samples and data collection always do this and understand the process clearly then you take up the original study that will be very good that will be easy for you to complete the what you call your research i hope this video will be really useful to you and if you find it useful please give a thumbs up and share it to your friends i'll catch you with some other video uh, uh, soon thank you bye